here we are. It is time. We are going to read this new book. Welcome to Barnes & Noble Storytime. My name is Brad Meltzer. I am the author of this, my favorite new book by my favorite author. Brad Meltzer, illustrated by the amazing, wonderful, look at this art, beautiful artist, Dan Santat. He, we love him. We all know his work. We think he's amazing. Um, and this is the very first reading I'm going to do of a new day. And I'm going to tell you very quickly, we're going to do this reading. We're going to tell you, people have said, where'd you get the idea? I dreamed this book. I literally dreamed it. I had a dream. I'm not joking. And I woke up and next to my bed, I keep a pen and paper and I wrote it down and was like, I know what this book is going to be about. So you want to know what this book is about? You want to know what my dreams are about? I'm going to show you right now. So welcome. And oh, here's one other thing. In the Barnes & Noble, see it says on, it's a, this is the Barnes & Noble exclusive copy. Okay, and that means the copy that you buy at Barnes & Noble has a secret at the end of this book. I'm gonna show you the secret at the end of this book. You're not gonna believe what you get. It comes in every copy you buy at Barnes & Noble. So here you go. This is A New Day by me, Brad Meltzer, and Dan Santat, the amazing, incredible artist. And you have to always, I love looking at the inside covers, right? You get to see now, oh, who are these people you say? You're about to find out. Here we go. A new day. Ready for it? Sunday quit, just like that. She said she was tired of being a day. Do you know how hard and how much work it takes to give the world a beautiful free day? To play, to pray, to sleep away, or even just to sway in a hammock while eating raspberry sorbet. And then I do it all over again, week after week, year after year, with no pay, with no pay. Nice rhymes uh, save. Everyone gets time for their own fun or to catch a matinee, but no one says, how are you? Or even, you okay? And this is Sunday. Sunday quits, just like that. The other days were aghast. Oh, no day had quit, not since Mars Day, but that was so, so long ago. And Sunday says, I want to learn how to water ski and weld and bake the perfect sourdough. I want to take a car apart to see how it works and learn Italian, no, Sanskrit, like the Buddhists, and master the sugar arts. The sugar arts? I think that means candy. But what will we do now? We can't just lose a day, Wednesday says. Everyone be quiet. Monday declared, since Monday loved declaring things, there's only one thing to do. What are the days going to do? We're going to find, we need to find a new day. Across the land, posters were put up with those little tabs you can pull off at the bottom. Ooh, teeny pull tabs. I love teeny pull tabs. Wanted, a new day. Must be relaxing, tranquil, chill, though not as chill as Saturday. Healing, blessed, replenishing, quiet, committed, and most important, must be able to give people good dreams and get along with others. Serious inquiries only. Tryouts began the next day. Here's the tryouts. The first prospects were interesting. Please state your name and anything else you'd like the committee to know. It's fun day, the clown says, where every day is fun. Next. I'm run day. Every day we run, speed, zoom. Next. I'm bun day. Everyone wears everyone's hair. Buns, get it? You wear buns in your hair like Princess Leia. And Thursday says, I kind of like bun day. I'm just glad it's not the other buns. Your parents love that joke. That's a great joke, by the way. Some ideas were good. I'll call it dog day. Puppies, dogs for everyone. Everyone gets one. Did I mention the puppies? Yeah, dude, Saturday says, I vote yes, puppies for everyone. And Wednesday says, puppies would make the week go quicker. Everyone relax, Monday says. There are still lots of more days to see. Out of my way, where next? The cat says, but... The dog says, sorry, cat. The job is filled. Here's the pitch, the cat says. Two cats lurk, knowing they are far superior to dogs. We call it Catterday. I wonder what happens to Catterday. Some ideas were bad. I call it Worst Vice President's Day. I'm Elbridge Gary. Next. Shark Day. Too scary. Also, it needs a week. Next. We call it Burp. Burp Day. Next. My kids love Burp Day, by the way. 
And some days were surprisingly amazing, like the day where everyone gets superpowers. We'll call it Superhero Day. No, Cape Day. Fly Day. It sells so much better when you call it Fly Day. Do we need more ideas like this, Saturday says, and agree, Friday says, I'll post it online. At that moment, Casual Friday had no idea what he'd unleashed. As word about the tryouts began to spread, everyone had their own idea for the very best new day. It was Pie Day, and you get to choose. Blueberry pie, pecan pie, apple pie, rhubarb, pumpkin, banana cream, key lime, chicken pot pie if it's cold out, or even boysenberry. Ooh, I do love boysenberry. There's llama day. You carry tons of stuff and you spit all over, but we get great eyelashes. Nice eyelashes. <laughs> Spits, spitting. This band-aid day, safety first. Wednesday says, I do love band-aids. My sister loves band-aids. And on the seventh day, we call it Acrobatter day. Ta-da! And of course, one of the most popular days of all, candy! This is not a helpful idea. Ah, candy, 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 candy. A play on words, I like this one. Catterday, the cats say Catterday. Will be an easy sell after this. In no time, the competition grew so intense some of the contestants snuck back in front of the judges. Have we seen you before, Monday says? Nope, the dog says, definitely not. Allow us to present Dogs Who Love Frogs Day. They're so cute and squishy. I have to say, I admire the teamwork. Oh, come on. Those are the same dogs before, but with mustaches. This isn't fair. When do we get to pitch Catterday, the cats say. The cats were right about it being unfair. But as word began to spread that teamwork was a good thing, it brought together all sorts of combinations, like fire poles sliding into pools of cotton candy day. Poof, poof, poof. Mmm, sugary boogery. This must have been made by a master of the sugar arts. Sure, some days caused a bit of craziness, like when unicorns with flashlights for Horns Day met up with unicorns with horns for Horns Day. Horns, flashlights, horns, flashlights. It's my Jets and Sharks joke. Your parents like that one too. Other days were just as impractical, like snowmen in a blizzard eating marshmallows day. Ta-da! Get it. See, by the way, you see the cat's catter day's coming. And still others were too small of a niche market. It's hatter day, but just 1920s ones. Caps for sale. Get that joke. This gelatin suits day. And some of us have robots in them because, you know, robots. Watch the way my ears wiggle. And then there's knights whose swords are herrings day. Herrings? Swordfish swords would have been funnier. And there's also, don't forget, my dog smell like corn chips day. That's the same dog. He's just eating corn chips now. The madness got even worse when jazz day and naked mole ratter day mixed with batter day giving us Naked Mole Rat Batter Day Skiddity Scattity Diddity Dat Batter Day, which was actually pretty absurd considering that Batter Day got mentioned twice. I'm Batman! Don't say it or we're going to get sued. Stop, stop, stop. Doesn't anyone have a good day, Monday asked? I do, someone said. Let me guess. You plant cabbage and want cabbage day or eggplants and want eggplant day or, or, or... Oh, I got it, bok choy day. No, the little girl said. I simply like growing seeds in pots. And I grew this one for all of you to say thanks. Did you just say thank you, Sunday asked? Yes, Miss Sunday. And the day I'd suggest is simply a nice day. A day when people can show more kindness to each other. Sunday would never forget that moment. She'd never forget how the little girl made her feel. And she'd never forget the most important lesson of all, that with a little more kindness in it, every day can be a new day. So you're not fired in, not tired anymore? Not anymore, Sunday says, thanks to you. Thank you for saying thank you. I really needed it. For every week after that, look at, 
Dan's amazing drawings. For every week after that, Sunday got more time to play and get away. Indeed, all the days joined in and spent some time water skiing and welding and baking the perfect sourdough. They took a car apart to see how it works and learned Sanskrit like the Buddhists and, of course, mastered the sugar arts. And the next day, they did Monday's favorite thing, like filing and alphabetizing. It was a lesson for every day. When you appreciate each other a little bit more, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and yes, definitely Sunday, can be brand new days where everything's possible. I must say, this is good raspberry sorbet. Like how you brought the rhyme back, Sunday says, by the way. Not passe or cliche? No way. Broadway. And then, in the last page, is a dedication here. I'll read it to you. It says, for my, my kids and for Jody. And you'll find out who it is when you read the book. But on the last page, look who's coming back. We call it Catterday. Dun, dun, dun. Wait, guys. Anyone? Anyone here? Where'd everybody go? And that is the end. Now, I promised you at the end of this book, there's a surprise in your Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. And there is. You want to see what it is? I can't hear you. Do you really want to see what it is? Because I'm going to show you. When you get to the last page, ready? You, this is true. In every edition that's bought at Barnes & Noble, there's a secret surprise in the book. A double-sided poster. And it says, kindness makes every day a new day. Which is really the most important lesson of all. And I know the book is funny and Dan's art is so amazing. But what we want you to see is when you show some kindness to someone, you can make the best day of all. So thank you for listening to this amazing, amazing story time at Barnes Noble. Thank you to Barnes Noble for hosting us. Thanks from Dan and myself. And thank you for reading. Keep reading, keep reading, keep reading. It's a superpower. And I'll give you the very best day of all. Thanks so much. I'm Brad Meltzer, signing off. And I hope you have a new and beautiful day. <laughs>